guys, it's me, Mrs. Davis. I'm going to quickly run through your carbon cycle project with you guys. Um, I'm just gonna run through the rubric, then I'm gonna show you some examples of my expectations. I'm gonna show you what the rough draft is gonna look like, um, which is due on Monday. So the idea and just kind of pacing for you is that you have today and tomorrow to work on your rough draft, and find a partner, get all your information that you need, kind of outline it, and then Monday you'll turn that in. You can turn it in earlier if you want totally up to you um, and then next week you'll go through and actually make um, your finished project your video um, and that's not due till next Friday so got about a week to do this entire project all right so it shouldn't be overwhelming um, I hope you guys have fun making it I'm hoping to see some of your creativity and some of your personality in this no pressure um, but I'm excited for you guys to do a little project so let's get started and run through what my expectations are Okay, so first things first, um, it's worth 30 points. What you're doing is you're creating a YouTube video or an in-class skit. Now, if you're working with somebody who's virtual or you are a virtual student, you obviously are going to do an in-class skit. Um, I'm not going to be doing a live uh, thing. You're just going to record it. Um, kind of the same way I'm recording this Zoom video. It can be that simple if you need it to be. Um, and it's directly on the carbon cycle. Um, so the first thing you're going to turn in, like I said, is the rough draft that is due. This coming Monday, and then your final project, meaning your link to your YouTube video, should be turned in on that Friday. Um, not, oh, hey, I recorded it, but it's not on YouTube. It has to be, I have to have a YouTube link on Friday. So I'm not accepting any late work because you're getting a whole week, all of class time, seven plus hours to work on this, um, a whole week. So there's no ex exceptions. Plan ahead and use your class time, aka an hour a day, to make a plan do small recordings, whatever you gotta do. Um, if you're working with partners, you guys have to plan um, where you're gonna meet, who's doing what, and delegate your tasks effectively, okay? So you can work individually, you can work in pairs or small, small group, no bigger than three. Um, think before you agree to work together. Um, they have to be obviously an A student. Um, it doesn't matter if they're a third period or fifth period. Um, you will have to collaborate, determine who uh, will be doing what and how, and then we'll look at group grading too. So what you're doing is the carbon cycle. You're welcome to be funny, creative, um, but you also have to be accurate, no profanity, nothing that is inappropriate. It has to be Panther approved. All right, so things that are okay to do. You can do a rap video, fake newscast. You can do a commercial. Um, one of the examples I have is carpool karaoke that they did. They, another group did a skit that was good cop, bad cop, and it was like a police investigation. Uh, another one is they used TikTok. Whatever works for you, if you want to do like an Among Us skit, as long as I understand you show mastery, you can be pretty creative. Um, you can do an animation or an interactive game, that's fine. Um, what's not okay is reading from your textbook or reading this diagram right down here. That's no, that's not part of that. Copying from a friend or directly from the web, so you shouldn't be copying anything that you find on the internet. Um, posters and PowerPoints are kids' books. Um, strictly, I want this to be uh, visual, virtual, um, teach each other, um, and do a YouTube video. I don't want paper. Let's, we're going green for this project, y'all. All right. So you are ass assessed individually. Each student will be required to submit a statement of their contribution, as well as their group member's contribution at the end of the work. So if you're somebody who's like, oh, I'm in a group project, but they're going to do all the work. Yeah, you ain't going to pass. Just to let you know, because I personally hated doing group projects in high school and college because I was the person who always got stuck doing the work so yeah anyway all right so the way you're gonna be graded look at the four C's the biggest part of it is obviously content did you correctly explain in a clear and understandable way each aspect of the cycle um, use this outline to help you there are plenty of resources online that you can use watching a video if you're unsure your book has plenty in there too um, I have a different look of the carbon cycles it might make more, more sense to you, okay? Um, five points for creativity. Um, how original is your work? Are we engaged in your lesson and following material? Um, I'm gonna leave that there. Craftsmanship, professionalism, the polish. Did it look like a hot mess when you turned it in? Um, were there technical limitations? Um, things like that. Completion, um, simply, is it on time? 
plan ahead. I will not accept it late. So if you are doing a group and somebody just decides to do nothing, you're on, I mean, you still get graded on your own. So just that person is going to fail and you're going to pass. Do the best you can. All right. So here are some examples of what this is going to look like. Um, you're only doing the carbon cycle. These are examples that are not the carbon cycle. So you've got these guys did the phosphorus cycle and they did like good cop, bad cop deal. I appreciate them. Okay. Then this group, TikTok. Now theirs was a minute and a half. I'm asking for at least three minutes, no more than five minutes. If you send me a 10 minute video, I, I appreciate you, but it should any, be anywhere between three to five minutes long. Three to five minutes. Cool, great. Three to five minutes. I know someone's gonna ask me, how long does the video have to be? I'll be like, mm, did you watch my video? Cause it's a bit in there. Anyway. So they outlined it. Then they geek out and do. I mean, I appreciate this. So if you're savvy with TikTok, Here's some ideas. <laughs> I thought it was good. All right. Good cop, bad cop. And then these guys, sorry, my screen keeps, there we go. And then these guys did a carpool karaoke. I cannot sing, so bless their heart. Uh, <laughs> and also, I want to say, if y'all are doing carpool karaoke, I better not see the car move. I'm just saying. <laughs> This game is we got in the car at the end because we did car for the car project. Please don't be that person. I appreciate them, but also I'm very nervous about them driving and singing at the same time, so. Good for them. All right, so those are some examples of what you can do. You can be as creative as you want. This one's really good too. They did a, a now this is a pretty intense animation. So, I mean, if you can do this, awesome. But you also could hand draw stuff um, and um, have like moving parts and kind of do a stop motion if you wanted to. That's actually really easy to do, especially if you have TikTok. You can make stop motion videos through TikTok and it doesn't take as long as you think it does. It's literally you're just taking snaps of your work as you go through. So yeah, just, just an idea. So this one's pretty intense as far as animation goes. I would be impressed if y'all could do this. Maybe you can, cool. But a lot of this is just pictures that they hand drew and then. All right, so that's one. Those are a couple different examples of how you can do this if, you, if you're not sure. What are you thinking about doing? Those are some good examples. All right. Back over here. Okay. Um, if you are still struggling, here's where you can find the textbook resources. There's also notes that I'll have for you too. Um, it'll have all the cycles, but you'll just have to focus on the nutri um, nutrient or carbon cycles. Um, some key words that might help you if you're stuck and you feel like you don't have a, enough or this is confusing to you, you're not sure how to connect some of the vocab together, um, this is to help you out. Now, you may not have to talk about every single one of these in what you're doing, just, just a heads up. I don't expect you to say every single one of these, but some of them you probably will bring up. I just want to leave that there for you. So this is really for a resource as in I'm stuck, I'm confused, or what's a term that I need, or it's, it's there for help to help you. Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, marine snow's hidden down here. Don't be a marine. All right, next, what does your rough draft look like? All right, so after this video, you should try to start thinking of it this way. I'm gonna have this open for you to see. Um, are you working individually in a group? Okay, if you decide you wanna work with a group, um, there's a discussion board for you to say, hey, I'm looking for somebody who's virtual who wanna do a Zoom skit with me. Cool. Like, just put it out on blast. See who who bites. You guys are A students. Um, 
I wouldn't trust standard kids to do this. I'll be honest. Anyway, um, how are you completing the assignments? Give details. I'm doing a skit about the carbon cycle using this analogy and I'm drawing out stages and voicing over it or it's a wrap, whatever you're doing. Are you recording or creating your and creating your, your project? How are you recording and creating your project? Sorry. Um, I'm using my phone. We're using our phones or we're recording through YouTube. You can record stuff. TikTok, you can record, record stuff. Um, YouTube has its own recording. Um, just let me know how you're doing it. So if there's a technical issue on somebody's end, I can, I can help you or give you um, ideas of what you can do. Now, just because you're doing this project doesn't mean you just have to be filming yourself. You can just do your voice. I'm completely fine with you just reading over something that a visual that you did. That's fine. But it better not be a PowerPoint. I can read a PowerPoint. I don't need you to read me a PowerPoint. <laughs> so don't do PowerPoint. Okay, great. <laughs> I probably turned the camera back on so you can see my facial expressions. <laughs> All right. So last one or last two. Create a timeline of when you will work on and complete parts of your project. So it's just kind of like, hey, if you're doing a storyboard, like for a movie, you want to plot out how long certain sections are going to take. All right, from Monday to Tuesday, I'm going to finish these two steps in the cycle. Then I'm going to do these three, and then so on and so on, so forth. So you want to outline what does your carbon cycle look like? How long are you going to spend recording and drawing or making the visuals for it? Yeah, I would say at least two two days should be for recording. That's my recommendation, two days, because recording might take you just as long as writing everything out. Um, for example, I've had to restart this video four times. Awesome. <laughs> so just be planned before you start recording and expect that you're gonna have to record more than once. Okay, awesome. Um, and then a little sample of your work, like a physical outline, it could be a handwritten thing that you wrote out, you could do a little calendar, pictures that you started drawing, a sample of your script, snippet of your video that you've already taken, if you're gonna use, like I said, I keep using TikTok as an example, but you can just send me a snippet of a quick little intro that you did, whatever. Um, or a video of when you and your um, partner met on Zoom and you went over stuff. Cool, I'll accept that too. Um, that's totally fine. But I'm going to have this open for you guys to look at so you can start doing these steps um, for today, Thursday, and Friday, and over the weekend if you need it. Hopefully not, because I want you guys to enjoy your weekends. Um, I think that is all for me, guys. Um, I hope you stay safe. And my in-class students, I hope to see you Friday. If not, I'm sure we'll just stay virtual because we don't have any other things. So, yeah. Anyway, if you have internet issues, I know that's a possibility. That's why I made sure this is on YouTube for you. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Um, last thing I'm going to say is this is a discussion board for you. It'll look a little bit different because I'm going to add some stuff to it. Um, so I'm doing this the night before. Um, it'll look a bit different, but this is your opportunity to say, hey, I'm looking for a partner. Hey, I have some questions. Um, how long did she say the videos had to be? Whatever. If you have a question, um, in general, you guys are welcome to answer each other's questions help each other out. This is a community board. It's not necessarily just for me. It's for everybody. So just think about that when you're posting. If there's something that you want to say directly to me, you can send me a message. Cool? Awesome. Fantastic. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Stay safe. Don't binge watch stuff. Today is not a day off from school. If you are a school student, I know who you are. <laughs> um, best look, guys. Let me know if you need any help. I'll be around. I'll be grading. Um, like a normal day. So let me know what you guys need. Bye.